Hello everyone and welcome to Smells Like Teen Angst. I'm Sarah and today we are going to be talking about the new original movie, Musica. Musica is a movie that, after watching and reading some other reviews, makes me feel insane. <laughs> There's gonna be another movie like that coming out later. Um, but it's because I didn't like it and everyone else seems to have loved it. Let's talk about it. So Musica follows a boy named Rudy. Rudy has synesthesia. Now, if you don't know what synesthesia is, it presents it a few different ways. I am no expert. I've only seen a couple documentaries. Um, but for the sake of this, Rudy's version of synesthesia shows up in random musical noises in everyday life. So for example, he's on a date with his girlfriend and at a diner and every sound from the kitchen basically turns into the Broadway musical stump in his mind. And which is an interesting way that I haven't quite heard. Like I know about like synesthesia showing up as colors and like symbols in the brain. So like, I thought that was really interesting. But for me, I was like, oh, it's like ADD. <laughs> I can relate. But also I found it aggressive. Anywho, so Rudy is figuring out life as we all are. He, his girlfriend breaks up with him because she doesn't really understand him. He doesn't really help her understand him either. And he meets Camila Mendez working at a fish market and she accepts him, she sees him, he explains what his brain is like to her and she is fascinated by it. And then of course, one thing leads to another, everyone's dating, there's a love triangle, it all comes to a head. And while all of the story is being told, we are also getting aggressive snippets of Rudy's mind and his stomp Broadway show that goes on in his head at all times. Sorry. What? While the story itself is nothing new, I thought that this movie could have been very, very cool if the music was handled a little differently. For me, every time his brain went off, like I felt like it was so aggressive and not helpful to the story at all. And I really wish like I, that it had progressed and helped tell the story. So like, if we're gonna start with the girlfriend and tumultuous, he doesn't wanna move in with her, he doesn't wanna move forward, she breaks up with him that can be pure chaos in the diner. Like that makes sense to me. But then when he is trying to share what his brain is like and what his life is like with Camilla, I would love it to actually like help progress the story along. Even when he gets caught in this weird love triangle at dinner, it's still just noise to me. I think Musica was really a good idea. I just think it was executed poorly. So then by the time we get to the ending, and Rudy and his puppets, because he loves puppets, um, start retelling the story of his life. At that point, I'm like, why are we rewatching the movie instead of getting the point that he is now above ground and trying to heal himself and trying to follow his dreams in another acceptable fringe festival way. <sighs> I really wanted to like this. And I, you know me, I don't like talking about movies I didn't like, but I feel like if I'm gonna do this, I gotta do it right. <laughs> so this is why it makes me feel crazy because I did not enjoy it. And it seems like a lot of other people did. And that is part of why I created Smells Like Teen Eggs. Cause I don't always agree with other reviewers and it's usually they hate something I love. And in this case, it's the other way around. And that's okay. I thought it was acted really well. I think Rudy Mancuso, because he is playing himself, kind of, um, and Camilla have really great chemistry. I loved them together. I loved when we went to his white girlfriend's family and like how starkly different that was. I even enjoyed how some of it went from um, kind of like a play within a play. I thought those were really interesting and cool choices. I really think the downfall was the use of his synesthesia which I'm very curious because apparently he has synesthesia and I wonder if that's actually how it is for him. So I would have loved even if like to bring in more aspects of synesthesia, bring me colors. At one point we saw him play with music notes, bring me more of that and, I, and have it not just be aggressive noise. And I think this could have been a home run for me. <sighs> but as it is, it was just aggressive and I did not enjoy it.
What did you just say? Uh, I, I didn't say anything. Oh, just give me a second. What? I'm sorry. Let me no, just talk. Judy, I have to Can I come on? So yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought about Musica and if you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.